normal high temperature this time of year, 63. Back on Saturday, it was 39. We had just shy of an inch and a half of snow officially in Denver on Saturday. And then yesterday, 65. Today, we soar up to about 71 degrees or so. So we'll warm up at least another five or six degrees from where we are right now. And then tomorrow, back down to 48 before we climb back up to 66 coming our way on Wednesday. Temperatures elsewhere around the state in the 40s right now and 50s for many mountain areas, but Aspen's already up to 62. In fact, Aspen basically matches the metro area in terms of temperatures. Same thing for Avon and Eagle right now. Later today, again, highs up around 70 degrees or so. And then here's the map for tomorrow. We do cool off quite a bit behind the cold front that moves through tonight. So let's talk about that front, setting a few clouds in our direction right now. So we'll call for increasing cloud cover through the rest of the day. You can see these scattered showers in the mountains. Most of that's not reaching the ground, but eventually it will. There's the actual storm system up in Wyoming. There's two different storms around the country. This is the one that came through our area back on Saturday, now bringing a threat for some severe weather to uh, the Carolinas and Georgia. This system system here is going to stay to the north of us, but it does drag the cold front across the area. The front will be through before midnight tonight and temperatures will obviously drop back behind it. And that's why we'll have a cooler day for tomorrow. Still some moisture coming in on the back side of that system into the daytime tomorrow. So since the system stays north of us, we're not going to see a whole lot of moisture, but we will see something and that chance will linger right on into tomorrow. Here's four o'clock this afternoon. After about four o'clock, there is the chance for an isolated thunderstorm up and down the front range. If storms are managed are able to develop right up along the Wyoming Colorado state line. A couple could be severe. And then here's midnight tonight. Snow in the mountains. That chance for some rain in Denver. That chance will continue into tomorrow morning and it should get just cold enough tonight for the rain to change into snow. If that happens, we'll see very little if any accumulation tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow afternoon, we're back to some rain around the area. So it's just going to be a cloudy and cool and at times wet day tomorrow. System gets out of here tomorrow night. Wednesday, we bring back lots of sunshine with a high of 66. Thursday, 61. And then Friday, 72 with mostly sunny skies. Next weekend right now, Alan, looks rather warm. 70s, wow. maybe a late-day storm on Saturday. And then a week from today, the final day of April, I can't believe it, could be up near 80. Wow, incredible, Ashton. Yeah. Thanks a lot. All right.